Hey, it's me, Say7. Welcome to part 30 of Hand. And something I want to do is I actually want to test out the bill hooks. Because we have no idea when I'll ever see these again. Okay, so that's a normal combo. Yo, look at the animations on that. That looks slick. That's the down attack. Oh, that's actually really cool. You can dash out of that. And that's the only instance of damage, so... There's actually no reason to never dash away from this. Cool. Now let's see the up attack. He tosses it up. Can he dash out of that? No. That's actually really cool. Okay, this is, should be a pretty fun weapon. I can actually get them in a run. But yeah, and the goal for this part is going to be trying to complete a run in under 45 minutes. Uh, I think this is pretty doable. But also, since this is part 30 and our third run for natural disasters update we'll also put it on breakdown three so if anyone doesn't know the breakdowns basically add uh it's like an additional challenge right and you can see all the things that they change so the sorrows gain bonus damage and hp uh thanagers get more damage they also gain stun resistance and you can still stun them it's just a little harder uh, minions hurt more and they're harder to kill which always makes world three when you're going through pretty difficult let's see what do i want so let's try and grab the prismium The uh, spell mana and 30 enemies without taking damage. I think I can do that. And if I get hit, I just die, anyways. So I'm gonna have to concentrate here. Oh yeah, great. So I have to fill out a form to declare my shoe missing from BTEC 55, right? Hang on, but it's it's obvious. It's a shoe. A plain old black shoe with black laces. We need to drown ourselves in pointless paperwork for Oh why this is being weird. I I'm pressing A and it's not going. Uh you have to be methodical about these things, or Orville will have a fit if your request is unclear. And with good reason. Let's do this pro properly. Properly. You can see the minions no longer die in just one combo. might be attacking so i actually don't want to dash up you can dash into his airplane uh let's take this bonus ground damage it's always pretty good and then i need equipment Obviously, I also really need to heal. Okay, he's not attacking. 
Sometimes the books can be obnoxious for when they choose to attack. Yeah, there we go. He attacked right away. All right, fair enough. Died early, I'll end up doing another run. You know what they say about threes. Either really good or really bad. Oh, hey, Ariel's here. Okay, so Breakdown 3 is just the uh, SOTY that the Boss's Seminar awarded me in 2018. Why not? We found that the interest of the work took on a new meaning through the representation of a different failure, like the tentacles of dereliction. Alright, if you say so. I still think it was better where it was, Muriel. Dialectical rancor. The absolute cannot be annihilated. What's that you're murmuring? Be quiet. She's taking those for breakdown four. She has had a flash of genius. He almost ruined it. it. Must work now, so leave her in peace. Okay, so am I supposed to be doing Oh, uh, I ma I imagine you might have dialogue for each breakdown now. Okay, so I guess we'll start with one then. Okay, so let's see. We can get a really good weapon. Taking 30 damage. Uh, let's take a reroll. Uh, what else do I want? This actually isn't bad. Kill 30 enemy. Actually, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Since I did, I did end up getting hit last time. Well, let's just take the bonus mana. Carrion Orville. Ah, there you are at least, Pinhead. Thanks heavens. The surprise there, some of us aren't just pretending to work, you know. I've got a lot on my plate. Steady there. I don't like what you're insinuating. You're lucky I have a question to ask you. Have you found my left shoe? Can I get a status update? Because I'm fed up of trying to work in socks. Huh, what are you? Ah, the B Tech 58. Oh no, I haven't got around to it yet. It's not a priority. Not a priority? I'm having to hop all over Death Inc. Everyone's laughing at me because I look like a clown. Look, it's Friday 6 on Gira. We'll need to talk to Joe, as he's the one who manages the tickets. Yeah, yeah, the real problem is not what Gira thinks, but what other men do. I know how these things work, stupid scheduling. Read that before. Okay, so if you remember, Jerry lost his shoe to uh, Cheese. Use bleed. Yeah, we take that right away. The so bleed's pretty cool. Uh, it adds a ton of damage to pretty much any build. It's basically a stack that gains bonus damage as you hit enemies. So if you hit them once, you get plus one damage. You hit them twice, you get two, and so on and so forth. So stacking bonus damage.
And we'll see how clean is doing. Uh, secret room. Okay, I think that was worth it. Got our gold animal back. Day three. Uh, Blade has like a max of uh, 10 stacks. You can get curses later on to increase that. Obviously, you have to get lucky enough to get the curse. Okay, this will be good if I can get a spell. And since it's infused, it works for every attack. Not just a scythe or cloak. Also spells. What is this? I've never seen a giant letter there before. And it's a C? I'll have to keep that in mind. comes out fast. It's no wonder I got hit my last run. Oh, there's probably something up here. Yep. Yeah, some of the layouts are different. And you can really see all the cubicles and stuff. Oh, this is so cool. Hey, max mana. Okay, hopefully from the shop I can pick up... Oh wait, I did get a... Spell. What is this? Sacrifix. Type of caffeine addicted leech that slowly sucks your life away. Applies unstable healing, heals HP, but inflicts injuries over time for a certain duration. Uh, take damage to summon two coffees. Okay. <laughs> frost toxic. Uh, frost toxic does hit multiple times. Yeah, I think I'll actually pick that up. And let's go make Brad actually do his job for once. <laughs> oh my god. What, do you plan on getting back to work? I really don't want to argue. Sorry, my mother's life, boss. Go back to sleep in your office. The air attack's not very good, I'm noticing. And he can run into him. I didn't use the fury attack for it. Nice. My scythe didn't catch the end of your sentence. Please forgive it. I might have dropped the ball a little bit, boss. We're back to business mode. You've been a watchful eye out and all that. Uh, 
Okay, so Frost Toxic might actually be pretty good for a bleed build. And getting the bonus stacks is actually in the blue tree. So building here, probably what I'm going to want to do. I want to reroll that. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess we'll take this just to start building into that cursed tree. And then I really, I've never used Sacrifix before. It doesn't sound good. It just free heals? So weird. My shoe fell into a vat of melted cheddar. It's hardly rocket science. That's right, it is. Took a B58. I remember I got to cross from Patrick Rounds two weeks ago or thereabouts. Two weeks? Unbelievable. Surely this is just a nightmare and I am going to wake up soon. Hey, hey, hey. No need to shout. You're disturbing everyone's break. Yeah, fine. All right, I see. That's why we're going to play it. I'm off to have a word with Patrick. Another one. For crying out loud. All this for a shoe. You just get another one. And where do I want to go? Let's get a toxic food. Wait, what? Why did I... Just get two copies there. Oh, I saw the secret room. Huh? Star raving mad? Summoning shower of flaming meteors. Oh, I've had this before. Okay, this is actually a really cool spell, so I will take it. Just like its counterparts in the star group. Star Raving Mad was created during antiquity, when death was still out in the field, reaping mortal souls the old-fashioned way. And behind his cloak that had turned brown from the surrounding sand, death attended a play on the perils of Theseus at an amphitheater incognito. Stagehands who were operating the deus ex machina almost killed the masked actress playing Aradne by dropping an enormous fake sun made of clay on her. And Deus Ex Machina is, what is it? It's like God of the Machine. And this is the spell. So it costs a lot of mana to cast, but as you can see, it nukes enemies. Okay, oh, I'm gonna hit. Not two. Uh, but I didn't take damage. Oh, because I have protection. Oh, wait, these do damage when they. Oh, they explode. I didn't know that. Fire. Oh, we've seen that. I won't pick it up. And let's go to the vault. I think sometimes Prismium can drop on the vault floors. So many bubba booms. I really like Frost Toxic, it's such a cool spell. 
And Star Raving Matt has a really long cooldown. Candace. I should probably be trying to go a little faster than I am. Actually, just be using Cross Toxic on her. Let's dodge back into that. There we go, the explosion got her. Who deals more damage? Uh, let's take the mana regen. Who is gaining more damage? We shouldn't see them. We shouldn't see either of these. I'll actually take the petrols. They're a little easier to dodge. Yeah. Okay, just kept going. But I've already read the fry one. Actually, getting some more max HP or mana would be really helpful. I only got 65. Uh, Star Raving Mad cost 100 mana to cast. I don't know how much mana... Cross Toxic does, I think it's like 15. Yeah, I'm gonna use the Fury Attack for... Oh, I got hit by the... Arakoa is Death Rattle. Ooh, Kazai Kunai is actually really good too. Because it hits like a ton of times. I can't take it though. If I can really get a build going for what I have now, like extra spell damage, more mana regen, uh, that'll probably be better than having a cloak weapon. So HR. Keep on trying to get better curses.
some unnecessary damage. I didn't know the Harko's attack like that was like an instant spray. I thought it was like bubbles. Now we got some life steal. Oh, and I got slowed there. Oh, yeah, I think that attack used to be just like some bubbles going out. Ah, chompers are also pretty good. Yeah, chompers are good with bleed. They can hit like a ton of times. Small flying scythe is also pretty cool. Uh, let's take the max mana. And upgrading before Waldo. Probably put everything into Frost Toxic. Actually, depending on if the first upgrade on this reduces the mana cost, it doesn't. Okay, yeah, so we'll take Frost Toxic. I'll just take two upgrades with that and be on our way. <laughs> nice, Curse Scythe. I'm going to have to confiscate it. Waldo Burger, you eat with your fingers. Give me that. You mean this finger? Flips him off. You don't take death scythe. Oh man, look at that damage. That's so good. We got behind him for this. Rudeness detected. Rudeness red alert. Red alert. Hang on, send me a question of courtesy. Robot my coccyx. It's my sight. That's all there is to it. He's got a point. More scythe damage. Uh, alteration. So this would actually make the uh, bleed duration last longer. But that's not really useful. That can be good for burn and poison, but bleed is a little different. Since you have to continuously hit someone for the effects to keep going. Let's do cooped up over here. I don't like it. I'm going on another break. Rigor, rigor. It's about another thing we do. I've read that before. I don't agree with the Mortal Terror Department's ranking of phobias at all. Is that going to be the next department? That sounds pretty cool. One, arachnophobia. Two, thalassophobia. Three, calorophobia. Skip to 17. So, arachnophobia spiders. I don't know what thalassophobia is. And color phobia is clowns, right? Ah, here we are, 17. Astrophobia. I mean, really, how could thunder and lightning be less scary than a spider? Then you can strike anywhere. With all due respect to Orville, I don't know who this Faraday is. It's awful. Uh, let's go to addictions. I haven't been here in a while. And I would say spiders are scarier because you're more likely to run into them than lightning, right? That's what I would say. And Patrick. Careful now, stay close behind me. Don't look the walls in the eyes and keep your comments to yourself because they may also have ears. Hoo -hoo. Corridors in the department can be deceptive. You can easily get lost if you don't know where you're going. So here, on your right, on your... Yes, right? On your right. 
Hang on, let me just check which way we came from. I'm not sure I know where I'm going. Hey, make sure you stick with the group. Tell me, you might not make it out of this maze alive. Ah <laughs> oh, yes, you're in a wonderful form today, Patrick. I think Patrick's high. Yeah, this is perfect for star raving. Oh, I still got hit. Did they actually make this maze-like? This layout seems completely different. Oh, they did. Oh, this is gonna ruin the time for my run, but... I just want the solary that's here. That sends you right back to the beginning. Is that actually how it's laid out? Oh, there's more up there too. Yeah, I actually really like this. This is a pretty neat change. Intriguing floor. So these are basically like challenge rooms where you have to get through them fast. Or you just have to not get hit. This is trippy. Ah, uh, yep. All right. I was not expecting a split like that, but it should have been. Aha! Uh -huh, tut tut. Nice try, Orvi. But don't think you can hide here to eat that rubbish. It's not going to work. What's that? Oh, a bag of fatal Fritas. Ah, uh, disgusting. Sodium chloride and polysorbate 80. Ugh. Ah, no. Come on, Harriet. You already took my morning snack. I have to do some IT maintenance in Dr. Heisenberg's office. I'm going to need the extra salt to get me through. The doc's office? Okay, let's go. We can head over there together. Come on, knees up, heels to butt, off we go. Put some effort in. Oh, that's all you eat during your breaks is me, you rusty or V. Oh, is this all gonna be. Okay. I just use Star Raving Mad. Gosh, all the pills.
Oh, Prismion. Very good. Uh, I actually don't know what to take here. This is pretty good. More max mana whenever I use an anima. Uh, let's look for more max mana. I just want as much as I can get. I want enough so that I can at least cast Star Raving Mad once and still be able to cast Frost Toxic without consuming all of my mana. That's what I should have done last time. Hundred and twenty five from falling, it's pretty good. Okay, that's Shakespeare. Uh, it's an okay weapon. It's a cloak weapon. Raving Mad has like a beat to it too. I'll actually get a gold anima. That's a good pure heal. Yeah, I wanted to check the map to see if you could if there's actually anything up there. <laughs> Just goes in a circle. Oh, this actually sucks. Um, I want to fight Heisenberg by getting a Prismium. And then if I get a control room before the boss fight, I can finish an upgrade and get bill hooks. Yeah, so I'm going to skip that Thanager fight. I feel bad for doing it, but I do want the Prismium. What's the map look like? Okay, so it's another one where you go up and there's some solary. But where is it? Like all the way across. Oh, it's a lot of solary. There's the Prismium. And like clockwork, there's the control room.
I'm pretty sure I can get bill hooks. They show up. Yep, there it is. So we'll do that. Since it's the new scythe weapon. Bill hooks were originally designed to cut holly and other herbaceous plants. It's in battle that they really make their mark. Crescent shaped blade cuts quickly and should anything go right, it can also be thrown like a boomerang over short distances. Prime example of Celtic tool making. This hook is perfect for collecting ingredients for a root vegetable soup while scarring off any passer or scaring off any passerbys who are looking for a free meal. A quick swipe behind the ears and that's the last they'll hear of it or anything else for that matter. It looks very similar to Twinsies. But it looks like sharper. Okay, and let's use this Prismium to... Actually, here. Let's level up Bill Hooks. Can apply Pierce, which means it'll do bonus damage. Okay, I like that. And then more range, base damage, and a greater chance. And we'll use Solary to upgrade Star Reaving Mad. Oh wait, yeah, and upgrading it to tier 2 reduces its cooldown and mana cost. Alright. So I'll spend the Prismium to finish off Frost Toxic. And that should be pretty good. How easy can I dash out of this? Does it always just come back to me? Okay, it doesn't like follow me. More do you want more? Actually, I think it's time to switch to more reasonable doses. I wonder if the down attack will actually catch him when he's up there. Ah, oh, it doesn't. Not reaching him. Okay, let's use the Bill Hope special. Oh, that's bad. You know if like any of those hit. Hey y'all. But I'm in charge of addictions. Sure we'll come to an understanding. Eventually. Okay, that was a rough fight. At least using the anima, I get some more max mana. Okay, I like the termination. The spell damage is also good. I think I have to take the termination because of how much damage I took from two hits in that fight. Last paycheck was hardly El Dorado, let's be honest. But I heard the blobbies in the pollution department get paid peanuts. That's easy, I'll work. 
double and I'll give you amazing figures. But we can't say anything about it. Of course, we sure shouldn't stop people from working too much. Okay, that could be good to pick up too. Find anima. I want to use the pure heal now. At the extra max mana. And let's take the max HP. For 15 minutes. I feel like that should be good enough to get through all of Modern Warfare and maybe all of Natural Disasters. Oh, that instantly stunned. Okay, I don't like the up attack on this. It has a delay to it that is not good. Slaymore. Slaymore is actually a really good cloak weapon. A pure heal that didn't do anything? Actually, I think they changed the floor copies. I don't think they pure heal anymore. I'll have to double check. There's no peer heal anymore. Alright, HR. If I could go to shop to sell the extra spell I have. Gosh, I can't use the up attack. I think anything that has like a delayed up attack is actually really bad scythe weapon. There's just like too many times where having like a quick vertical is really important for dodging attacks. It does stun pretty easily though. Oh, 10 damage per anima. Okay, yeah. That's a no-brainer. We have to pick that up. I cannot change equipped weapons. I'll take the shop price increase.
And we're already on Flage. Uh, do Thanagers do bonus damage? Oh, we can't even see. I don't remember what the breakdown it, uh, effects are. I think it was just sorrow damage, wasn't it? So yeah, I'll fight Flage. how frost toxic is actually hitting enemies we can't even see on screen like it just killed that guy for free oh that's actually really good okay i can just do this This is actually so good. What the heck? Alright, I'm warming up to bill hooks now. And here's Blage. Use one of these. Okay, at least we got an anima back. Now I really need some sustain. Okay, this damage is actually really good. So we'll look for some heals. Now look at the damage. Man, that's so much. Okay, that's so bad of me. I'm taking a lot of unnecessary damage in this run. Scizord. Scizord's actually a pretty good cloak weapon too. Okay, so this gives us a little bit of lifesteal. Okay, you can't up attack from the air after you've already attacked. Yeah, you can't. Okay, so that's part of the problem I'm having. That's something I do a lot with the all the other scythe weapons. You can't do it with this one. Do 
Do you have to commit to the up attack? Yeah, that was really funny. The crow immediately caused and it just bursts into ice spikes. Explosion. I'm getting a lot of equipment drops this run. It's like never happens. This is how I should be using bill hooks at the start of arena fights. Just use this down attack. Another curse reroll. Yeah, this is how you're supposed to use it. And they're getting stunned so fast. behind him and it didn't come out. Where'd you go? Okay, I pretty much have to kill everything right now so that I can get some drops. Uh, also, I think I left an anima up here, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Another one. And we're at Pluscon. Uh, honestly, this fight could go either way. Yeah, this is going to be kind of tough. Need to touch the new BR-14 nuclear warhead. Intern, intern. Not the intern, me. And are you tell this missile is going to suck? What? But it's nuclear. Big damage opportunity. Okay, that was really good. We didn't even get a phase two with him. What am I supposed to do after that major? Put you in your pajamas, give you a bottle of milk, and set you down for a nap? <laughs> er, but sir. That's exactly what we should do with the major. Treat him like a baby. Oh, 
more defense, more mana. All right, Cloak's Wish. Plays an effect while launching Cloak Attack. Okay, that's actually really good. 100% more damage for two seconds. Yeah, we'll just take the control room penalty. You've been moping around for over 400 years. So surprised you lost some of your skills. Pathetic. Hey, fuck you, Osha. You ass. Okay, let's actually refill the fridge. I think this is worth it. And damage for 10 minutes? Let's make it count. Actually, my spells are gonna be hitting like a truck, man. Got 92. The down attack is weird for this too. You know how normally with the, the regular scythe, like if I did down attack here, it would slam me all the way to the ground, but this one doesn't do that. goes Didn't you, didn't you see him start the attack? Anything up here? No. And we'll go fight Horus. The horse is actually a pretty fun fight. Actually, I really like his theme overall. I still, I still think it's the funniest thing. The dude dies to lightning, so they make him a thundercloud. So why am I getting these insight pop-ups? I've already heard those. Yeah, down attack is easily the best part of this weapon, though. I wonder how I'm doing on time. I doubt it's very good. He's melting. Hey, we blew him away. Oh my gosh, even more spell damage. Okay.
Yeah, Frost Ox is getting a little insane. Like it's hitting for 100 damage now. That's crazy. I might actually be able to do the no-hit on Imamura for real. Just because I'll be able to nuke her. But I think this is going to be a win. Because I get hit. <laughs> Yeah, don't attack, don't attack. I'm a genius. didn't even drop anything. Okay, control room. Yeah, let's go. I think going to the shop might have been the better choice, actually. I could have gotten like an extra anima or something. Oh well. But I guess I can finish upgrading both of these, so. Wait, it has no cooldown and the mana cost is 50? Okay, so this is three casts. Okay, never mind. This this was definitely the right choice. Oh yeah, let's just look for more mana, I guess. Twice there. Oh, then let me dodge. I think it's on cooldown. Wait, they can actually shoot lightning straight down? Oh, I did not know they could do that. I barely saw that platform. And we're on Imamura. And 
but I still have the damage bonus. Uh, so let's go over the build. Uh, we got infused bleed, so we get some bonus damage from that. And then pretty much everything else is just spell damage. And yeah, spell damage, mana regen, more damage, some max mana. It pretty much just built all into spells. And we've got Frost Toxic and Star Raving Mad. <laughs> what this company needs is a manager who is puzzling. Don't you agree? No. Puzzling? It really is hard work trying to understand you, Catherine, and figure out what you mean. Someone strong with start quality. Someone who's able to unleash reforms. In other words, me. Me, me, and only me. Oh, I got hit. No. Oh my gosh. She just disappears. I have to ask, otherwise it will be bugging me all day. You're talking about power, charisma, and storms, is that right? Yes, I can't believe you're still pretending not to understand a bird I say. It's unbearable. To be honest, I think about your little speeches when I'm in a fight. It helps me take my mind... Uh, my mind of things? My mind off of things? Hey, there's a little witch. Drop. She tested the nuke on us. No. Okay, that was a very interesting run. And that run was kind of a roller coaster, wasn't it? The start was pretty high because I got infused bleed. And then I got beat up a bit. Uh, let's see. Testing out bill hooks was a high because it's cool to uh, try new things, but then they're kind of bad. Um, I feel like if they could deal damage when they return back to death, that would make them good. Yeah, like reduce the damage, give them that effect. Oh, hey, I think we got the, the runtime though. 42 minutes. Uh, the splits were. Okay. And yeah, this second one was actually kind of bad. Uh, and then the new addictions department also took a while. Modern Warfare, not too shabby. Boss, boss, boss. Take the liberty of optimizing your PC. I've already read that. Oh, I thought this was going to be like one of those elevators you could actually travel up. Okay, cool. We got the Tempest Abjuratum. So let's pick that up and see what it does in the VIP room. Oh, uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Applies is stuck. Each alteration lasts plus 10%. Bubble expands around you and imprisons your enemies in a time wave. That effect is cool. I have to build up the fury. Okay, let's see the fury attack. Okay, the effect is really neat. I love that. 
much mana did it say it cost? 50. And here's what stuck is. Prevents the target from acting. That's interesting. Does, that, does this work on bosses? This feels like it'd be way too strong for boss fights. Yeah, that's pretty neat though. All right, yeah, that was a fun run though. And we also got our first taste of what the breakdowns are like. Oh yeah, is this our damage uh, increase? That's why that fight with Max, man, he hit me twice and I just almost died. Let's see what Muriel has to say. Muriel, Muriel, I'm so sorry. I completely forgot about our last meeting. Hello there. Muriel says hello to you too. However, she will not shake your hand because she finds it overly familiar and the employees may gossip. She... what? Ah oh, yes, you're referring to yourself in the third person. Fair enough, so how are you? She's fine. She doesn't wish to elaborate because she is really busy. And you are already getting on her nerves. Yes, alright. Him. So your new creation represents Breakdown, I suppose. She is most displeased. Breakdown cannot be represented. Breakdown is lived, breathed, and felt. Hmm. Whatever. That's just a badly framed picture of me. Perhaps I am missing the point, but... She has other surprises in store for the rest of the series, but now she is getting tired. This conversation is over. Okay, so it seems like there is a storyline for Breakdown now. So I'll be going through all of them again. Oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah, so Breakdown 2, we'll see the Thanagers gaining bonus damage. And stun resistance, so... Yeah, look forward to that. Breakdowns are something else. Uh, just to give you a taste of how crazy they get, let's just skip to 10. Or, not even... Oh yeah, it is just 10 now. I think it, it went up higher before, didn't it? I actually don't remember. Yeah, this is what Breakdown 10 looks like. Yeah, it went up to Breakdown 11. I remember because the title of my videos are that. Uh, but yeah, look at this. This is brutal. Oh, they changed some of them. Hold up. Like, this is different. Sorrows don't inflict injuries. Yeah, that's actually pretty brutal. Yeah, this is a new one. Yeah, so this is this is going to be a lot of fun. And I guess we'll get started on the breakdown journey in the next part. And I'll see you then. Peace.